Uh, hey guys, uh, Landon13 here, and today we'll be doing a TV review on Stranger Things 1, the hit Netflix show that is very popular, and season 4 is now out, so you know what, let's do a review of season 1. So basically, season 1 takes place in 1983 in Hawkins, Indiana. A fictional town, I believe. I don't know. But anyways, we follow these four group of friends that um, that are experiencing Stranger Things, the name of the show. And and basically, when one of the boys go missing, the other boys are like looking for their friend and, and find out where he is. They are also joined by a girl with superpowers named Eleven. A girl who escaped from Hawkins Labs and now is hiding from them. And then and then we have um, the other characters are trying to um trying to find out where Will is, and we do find out where he is in another dimension called the Upside Down, where everything is just taken over by these uh, strange weeds, it's all dark, greyish. And yeah, and and then we have our strange main antagonist, the Devagorgon, that that pretty much um eats like an animal. If you cut yourself with blood, or if you're just a target, you become abducted and you go into the upside down. But Will does survive though, and he does come back at the end of the season. Survive, um. Alive and well. And then we can talk about our main antagonist. So we've got two so we've got two villains in this first season. The first one we're gonna talk about is the Devagorgon. The Devagorgon is this strange weird creature. And when his face splits open, it's like a sunflower. Basically, the Devagorgon doesn't really pose the threat. Well he really does only for feeding and he will only target certain people who cut their who cut themselves with blood or blood you know like attracts it like a shark and and basically it does get defeated in the end by eleven it gets killed but in doing so eleven sacrifices herself. She doesn't die because revealed in season two she she actually does survive. She gets transported into the upside down. But more of season two in in another review. Anyway, so Devagorgon is this really cool creature who can actually who's actually in the upside down and travel between our worlds, so it can make um little gates for itself, pretty much. And the upside down is like this mysterious um dimension also known as a virus or like an, a parasite that wants to infect our world. And then we have the secondary antagonist, Hawkins Labs. And yeah, they're the ones who um open the gate. Well, not really because Eleven actually opened the gate, but they're there looking for Eleven. But they also try to cover up um Will's death. They make like a little um fake little body. But it's just full of cotton. And and things just go from bad to worse. And of course some of the staff, the, the guards, whatever they call them, die. And of course the gate is left open still in the upside down. Yeah. And then we have our main characters. Recognizable main characters. So we got, um, so we got Dustin, uh... Mike, uh, Will, uh, what's the other kid's name? Um, Lucas, L Lucas, there we go. And, uh, and then we got our other characters, we've got Jonathan, Nancy, Hopper, who's a really cool character, and then we got Joyce. And of course, we've got Will trapped in the Upside Down. And then you've got Eleven, or Al for short, who has this amazing powers like telekinesis see this it would float like this it will float and she uses stuff as weapons also she uses her mind to defeat the Devagorgon 
But she does try to help the boys and everyone else try to get Will out of the Upside Down. And they do this, and they do complete their mission. The Devil Gorgon is dead. Everyone lives a happy life, happy ending, or so thought. The, uh, the gate is still open and Will is still having visions of the Upside Down. And a lot more stuff is yet to be revealed. So, yeah. So, that was basically my in-depth TV review of Stranger Things 1. The next review will be Stranger Things 2. Or Season 2, of course. But, yeah. That was my review of Stranger Things 1. I'm going to call it Stranger Things 1 because, well, it's, it's a nice little title. But anyways, if you did enjoy this video, click the notification bell to get, you know, to get updated when I post a new video. Click the like button and click the subscribe button to become Team 13. Really helps out the channel a lot. Check out my movie reviews and my other TV reviews. TV, movie, reviews, or whatever you call it, yeah. But anyways, next review will be Stranger Things Season 2, or just Stranger Things 2, where things get real. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and that's Landon13 signing off for now. Bye!